if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video in these YouTube streets so today I am back with a different type of video that I don't normally do on my channel so I'm here with a three in one get ready with me um, video so I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this hairstyle this makeup and I'm going to show you some outfits um, at the end so make sure you check out the description box because I do have some timestamps there but in the meantime relax enjoy and let's get straight into it so I am going to start off by doing my hair so I'm just going to remove that headscarf um, that is protecting my hair at the moment and I'm going to go in with a comb and just detangle um, my hair so this is not just any comb this is a wide tooth comb um, so yeah my hair is 4C and it's quite on the fine um, side so there isn't much work that I need to do in order to make sure that it's smoothed out so I then go ahead and tie my hair up into a little ponytail puff um, situation and yeah so I just make sure that the hairband that I use doesn't have any metal bits and then I go in with my eco styler gel which I'm struggling to open. So now that it's open I'm just gonna um, smooth some eco styler gel onto my head making sure that I am pressing down and slicking my hair. Um, with the eco styler gel and just making sure that everything is nice and flat and all of my hair has been covered with the eco styler gel then proceed to split my hair into two sections and then just twisting that up and then um, once that's twisted I'm putting a head scarf on just to keep my hair flat while I do my makeup and to keep any flyaways tamed so I will come back to doing um, the rest of my hair once my makeup is done so I have already moisturized and um, primed my face and now I'm going to color correct my dark circles and the little dark spots that I have on my face using this pro base um, full coverage concealer this is from um, MUA makeup academy you can find this uh, at Superdrug if you're in the UK if you're outside the UK I'll try and link an alternative in the description box and then using a fluffy brush I'm just going to blend that in but I do want to give a shout out to my skin for behaving during the pandemic because it has not been easy. I have been stressed and my skin has cooperated with me so much. So for that, I'm going to give my skin a round of applause. Next, going in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the colour Macau. I'm just going to use the end of a makeup brush to um, spread that all over my face. And um, a little weird thing about this foundation, I have the NARS All Day Luminous in the shade um, Macau, but it has a bit more of an orangey tint than the Sheer Glow one. So the Sheer Glow one is a bit more neutral compared to the All Day luminous weightless foundation well wow, that's a mouthful so um, I just use a um, dense brush so this is a brush that I got from Real Techniques and I literally just make sure that I have blended my um, foundation out and I know you're probably thinking you haven't done your eyebrows but I have become a brows last type of gel because that's much more easier so I literally just make sure that's spread all over my face evenly and just taking it down to my ne neck a bit and then I go in with the beauty blender just to smooth everything out so 
I'm using my favorite MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC45. I swear by this concealer, it is my all time favorite. And yeah, so I go ahead and highlight. So I do under my eyes, and then I do the bridge of my nose, and then my chin, and my forehead. And yeah, so I try not to put too much, but I, at this point, I think I realized I'd put a little bit much. And then using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that out. So this is the same brush that I used for my um, concealer when I was color correcting. So I just go ahead and blend that out. And like I said, I realized that I used a little bit too much, but I'll sort that out later with a beauty blender and yeah so i just blend out all the highlighted sections and then with a beauty blender i'm just going to go over the highlighted section just to blend out um the harsh lines and to make sure that some of that excess product is soaked up And now I'm going to go in with the um, NYX or NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, Contour Concealer. Um, so this is in the shade Mocha. So I just put that um, on my contour under my cheeks. And then I don't like a heavy contour, but um, I like it to be light. So I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend that out. And yeah. So I'm going to set my under eyes with my Sasha Buttercup but before I do that I'm just going to blend out my concealer so I have added a little bit more of the um, prong long wear um, concealer because I just felt like I needed a little bit more coverage so I just blend 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 and straight after blending I go in with my Sasha Buttercup and just set my under eyes using a brush so I'm not overly baking and just an FYI I did mix my Sasha Buttercup with a bit of my S Bun powder because I didn't really like that overly yellow um, hue that the Sasha Buttercup was giving so I'm just going to go ahead and just set all the areas that I've highlighted with the concealer So I wanted to do eyeshadow but I was feeling lazy so instead of eyeshadow I'm just going into the sleek contour palette. I believe this is the medium dark one and I'm just going to put that on my eyelids like you've seen. And then I also use that same powder to um, contour my nose. So I don't actually like using liquid contour on my nose so I just settle for the powder. And then I also use that same powder to contour just under my um, cheeks so my cheekbones can pop out. So next I'm going to go into this Morphe and James Charles palette. So I'm going to use the two orange colours, the light orange and the dark orange on my cheeks. I just love how these two colours look um, on my skin tone. I know there's a lot of controversy with James Charles but I'm going to use this palette because my little sisters bought me this for my birthday back in January. And going back into the James Charles palette, I'm using that very dark um, orange, almost burgundy colour to um, contour my forehead. So don't judge me guys, I'm going to do my brows with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So this mascara is drying up and I literally just brush my eyebrows with it. And then um, after that, I just go in with the NYX um, Tame and Frame brow thingy just for the ends of my brows to give them a little bit more of a defined shape. And that's literally all I do to my eyebrows. And then I go in with my um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara on my lashes. And then I'll add some lashes and come back on camera. My lashes are on off camera and I'm just going to line my lips with a brown liner. And then I'm going to go in with Velvet Teddy from MAC and then a lip gloss from NYX and voila! And now I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier powder. 
that I'm done with my makeup I'm gonna go back to my hair so I'm just gonna use Miley hair and I'm going to wrap it around my twist this was a workout and I'm gonna add some accessories and voila that our hair makeup is done let's move on to the outfit so the first outfit is this dress from Fashion Nova in the colour magenta. It's absolutely stunning and when you take pictures outside it's very very vibrant and just pops. It has this amazing detailing on the front um, which just makes the bust area a little bit more elevated and I just love it. This is definitely a classy dress for a classy event. Yes! Up next is this short mini satin slip dress um so this is very cute especially for the hot weather but it's very similar or should i say it's the same as the dress that i got from nasty girl i'll link it up so you guys can see that it's literally the same thing drum roll for the next dress so this is what beyonce was talking about when she said put your freaking dress on this dress is actually from misguided it's this red asymmetrical one shoulder well one strap dress it hugs in the right places it is perfect and just complements the body perfectly last but definitely not least is this gorgeous marble effect dress the colors on this dress are just so summery this dress is from fashion nova and it's bodycon it's just figure hugging and it's giving what it is supposed to give it is giving it all <laughs> brings it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching this far let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite outfit and why stay safe and stay blessed and i will see you in my next video bye